Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are gonna be doing another in the Get the Look series, and we're going to be kind of stealing the style of Rosie Huntington Whiteley. So she has some killer style, let's be real. This video was actually requested by Anna, so thank you so much for this request because I love her style too. And I feel like she is another person who just totally crushes it when it comes to that very classic, timeless, minimalistic style that that's just always so classy and you're always excited to see what she's gonna wear. What I'm gonna do, what I always do with these types of videos, I'm gonna list out sort of those key characteristics that make up her style as a whole. Then I will be taking pieces from my wardrobe and trying to mimic her look as best as possible. So I actually went through her Instagram a long ways down and just totally creeping all of her outfit pictures and sort of pulling out those things that I feel like make up her style and the first thing that I thought was that she crushes it when it comes to like that menswear inspired look. A lot of her looks are very inspired by menswear. She really knows how to rock a good pair of trousers, you know, a good blazer. She has all of those classic cuts and styles. Everything is very tailored, well, well, well put together. So I would say that is probably the key element of her style is that it is more menswear inspired. Another thing that she does really well is rock neutrals. So I personally love neutrals myself. I feel like that's another reason why I like her style too and why a lot of her outfits are just totally amazing is because she really does know how to rock those basic and classic colors. She wears a lot of black and whites but she also wears a lot of warmer toned neutrals so um, like tans, beiges, creamy whites, things like that. This isn't to say that she doesn't wear color because she definitely does. There are some colored pieces thrown in here and there but I would say the majority of her looks are very very neutral. So the next thing that I kind of pulled from creeping her style hardcore was the fact that she wears a lot of very simple silhouettes when it comes to her clothing. So whether that is like with skirts, she tends to wear a lot of very form-fitted skirts. Um, she always has like that tailored blazer. With her tops, she often wears something that is a little bit higher neck, whether it is maybe a turtleneck or something that just hits the neckline just perfectly. Her pants are always very, very well fitted as well. Very tailored, just like those classic simple simple silhouettes. She definitely knows how to rock that within her style. The next thing that I noticed is her style is quite minimalistic. She's not one to wear a ton of statement pieces. She doesn't wear a lot of patterns and like crazy in your face items. It is very simple and down to those like key solid pieces. Um, a lot of solid colors, a lot of solid basics, etc, etc. So within her style, yeah, it is quite minimalistic. She often and doesn't mix and match too many colors within one outfit either. It is it is quite simple and easy on the eye. And last but not least, I feel like she is the queen of the bodysuit. She is kind of the person who got that Zara bodysuit like to sell out everywhere. Um, I'm totally guilty of purchasing it after seeing it on her because she just rocked it so so well. And um, yeah, that's just a classic thing. Like I'm not even like huge on bodysuits, but just the way she pulled it off, I was like, yes. I need that. I need that. So yeah, she definitely wears a lot of bodysuits and has that nice like form fitted top and with those like wider leg pants or something like that. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna move into the outfits that I styled inspired by her style. And the first one is being, I had to pull out that Zara bodysuit because is it really Rosie's style without that? I don't think so. So I have the nude version of this bodysuit here and I decided to keep it on more of that monochromatic minimalist vibe that sort of makes up her style as well. So I paired it with a pair of just like classic sort of beige colored trousers and then some nude shoes to match up with the top. Another thing I noticed that she does a lot in her style is match her top with her shoes or match her bag with her shoes. So I ended up going for top and shoes to match up here, just a pair of nude little block heel shoes. And then with the bag, I went for a brown bag that I kind of just clutched underneath my arm. I did also notice that she wears a lot of clutch handbags or very, very trendy handbags. Like her style is very classic and minimalistic, but oftentimes she'll throw in a trend with her handbag and with her 
for shoes. Yeah, I don't really have too many trendy handbags, but I kind of wanted to go for more of that clutch vibe. She's also like the queen of rocking like the Bottega handbags. <laughs> so for outfit number two, I went for something a little bit more casual, I guess, if you will. And I just decided to pair some black denim with a white t-shirt and then pop on a trench coat over top. She for sure has a lot of amazing jackets and coats and things like that. I think a trench coat is super classic and fits in with her style perfectly. So this outfit here kind of just embodies her style as a whole, I guess, having those really, really easy wearable pieces and it all just goes together so nicely. Uh, once again, wearing the nude shoes and then I'm also wearing a black handbag, you know, going for that clutch vibe <laughs> again here to try to mimic her style a little bit more. But yeah, overall, this one is just a very, very classic type of look. All right, next up, I could not put an outfit together without doing a blazer look because she definitely knows how to rock a blazer really well. So I ended up going for an all black look, some, some black trousers here, a black crop top with that higher neck that she can rock so, so well. And then I popped on an oversized blazer over top of that. I'm also wearing my chain necklace again because I feel like that's something she would almost throw together in a look like this too and then matching up my shoes with the rest of the outfit so just wearing some black uh, little block heel sandals here for a handbag i kind of kept on on theme with the black of the rest of this look and went for a bigger black handbag that you could easily tuck underneath your arm if you wanted to or just kind of hold it by the straps and last but not least this one as well is a little bit more menswear inspired but perhaps something that she might wear for more of a casual day or just being out and about and that's taking another pair of trousers and a loose fitted white button up top. I kind of just tucked it in halfway to give it more of that undone vibe. Um, I've seen her wear a lot of white button ups and things like that as well. And we know that she is like the CEO of having the perfect pair of trousers. So this whole look together really embodies that within her style. I also end up matching it up with a pair of nude block heels here and my brown bag once again, sort of just tucked underneath my arm or holding it more to be more of that clutch vibe vibe if you will. All right, so that's gonna wrap up my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was a really fun one to do. Um, I think I'm gonna make this a monthly series. So once every month, we're just gonna steal someone's style and work with what we got um, because it's a lot of fun to, you know, come up with different outfits with things that you have too that may be inspired by someone else. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye.